in this video we'll be learning about dotnet maui skeleton view so uh, there are actually three types that is none loading and the uh, success state so there are three states you need to remember it okay and uh, if you want to trigger a state that is if you want to load uh, something whenever the button is clicked then this is the actual ui let us suppose this is the ui which gets displayed that is a non-state that means whenever the page is already displayed right so we just want to show the non-state and the non-state uh, ui looks like this and then when a button is clicked and let us suppose it calls the api and then uh, it gives the success state that the ui is different okay so there is a loading state there is non state there is a success state right so what happens like there we can uh, remodify this implementation too so i'll be giving all the video uh, all the so, uh, source code in my videos description you can get it from there but uh, like another requirement might be like whenever the ui is loaded then we want to show some type of skeletons and then uh, after the api is called then we can um, uh, tell that uh, whatever like uh, a success state after the um, uh, skeleton is shown so in order to do that i'll just show it to you how it's done so whenever the uh, this ui that is means uh, the main page.xaml is loaded then we are showing a non-state okay so this is a non-state and um, what we actually can do is over here okay so whenever the application uh, is uh, means whenever let us suppose from page a uh, we and trigger to page b and page b does not have uh, uh, means uh, is uh, ready for uh, getting the api calls so we can tell that uh, we uh, we want uh, the layout state to be uh, loading means uh, we want the state to be loading okay so when the page is loaded that is a view model implementation and now let us suppose uh, uh, like uh, what what happens is like uh, i'll just create a method that is like uh, uh, get api call okay so get api call and then generate method so i'll just just generate the method okay so whenever the application is uh, means the when the ui uh, is, is loaded then at first uh, the simmer is going to seen that is a skeleton is going to be seen and we know that the mvvm implementation right so it will it will go over here and it will call the api and then when the api is called then let us suppose here you call the api okay and uh, i'll just copy it and i'll just paste it i have to make it as a sync and then uh let us suppose uh, we'll just give a delay of two, uh, 200 uh, miss let us suppose we'll just give uh four seconds for the api calls to be done then we'll just show a success state so in order to do that so as soon as this page that is our main page is loaded then you can see uh, now the simmer is going to be seen for four seconds and then uh the success ui is going to be seen after the after that one two three and then four and then success so you can see without uh, button click then uh, we, we are able to show the skeleton and then a success state so uh, i'll just uh, quickly explain uh, what i have done over here so in order to do that uh, you need to add the manage nuget package and add the two plugins that is our maui community toolkit as well as uh, the maui community toolkit code so i have added both of the thing and don't forget to add the namespace implementation and then uh, at first i'll show it to you uh, what uh, it actually looks like so there will be three state i have already told about it right so uh, let's suppose we are going to create a grid okay and then a button so you can just redesign your ui of your own so a vertical stack layout is the main thing that you need to understand uh, which gets uh, all its uh, states from the uh, community toolkit so here is the my current state that gets uh, uh, that lets the view model know that which state is running okay if it none state is running then we can show the non ui okay and then let me just okay and then non ui that means we can show any view inside it okay and then uh, if uh, if it is loading then we can show a simmer uh, simmer effect view okay and you can create a list view also and then add it with, with uh, fake fake data okay it depends upon your cases we can add a, a list view over here and then add this uh, same grid inside the list and then uh, call a fake data and then show a loading view okay this is just a uh, like like how we're going to generate a, 
a similar effect on the list view also you can just do that okay or uh, for a specific loading view for a specific area we, this is how it's done so uh, toolkit that layout state is loading and uh, like a layout state is none and then uh, uh, toolkit dot layout state is success so there are three state and three uis to be done okay and if the success state there is there then we can just get the data grab the data from the api and then bind it with over over here okay so that is it so um, the main thing that we need to now consider uh, over here is custom loader uh, simon that means uh, a class that i have created for our uh, um, box type of implementation that means this type of box implementation for all the uh, simmer uh, looking effect so what i have done is like uh, there is a class let's go to the class here this is uh, how uh, uh, the skeleton looks like that means the paid in as well as paid, uh, paid out animation uh, is going to come that is cubic in and cubic out and then uh, that uh, like uh, that, that, uh, that gives us the blinking effect you can see uh, the blinking effect uh, that is provided by the uh, box skeleton view that implements a box view okay so just uh, try to implement it and then uh, get a box uh, box view uh, that uh, fits in as well as fits out and give the color as a light gray and then you play around with it it depends upon your use cases that's all so uh, my main page is binded with the main page view mode and then i have already explained you about the loading view so like um, there are two uh, like uh, lots of states so like non and then uh, loading as well as the success state that we need to consider over here and then if get api is called then we are going to show a, a success ui so i'll just disable the code and you can just play around with it with it uh, as per your uh, uh, like expectation so that is it for this tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials